Hi dear students, how are you? I hope you're fine. Today we are going to have a revision about quarter three. So let's start. We are going to start with the measurements of centimeters and what in the inches. So we're going to have a short video. Let's start. Now here's a story of how I taught my mom that not all feet are one foot. So long. let's listen to mom this story. So we have oh, one foot one equal foot. twelve all inches. In was my foot. All I squeezed in was my foot. But then mama said something like this. Yes, Slip mommy. Your in your shoe. If I know that one foot equal twelve inches, inches foot, now. Then there's twelve inches in your shoe. I thought my mom was mistaken, so I said No. Yes. You see my foot is pretty small. It's, it's not twelve, 12 inches, inches long at all. So use my foot for measuring. My, my foot, foot is not one foot. foot. It's, it's not twelve inches long. But a measurement. There is a foot. That's twelve inches long. Everybody count. One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve inches in a foot. No, not that kind of foot. The kind of foot we use in measurement. How many inches in a foot? So, what do you think, guys? How many inches in a foot? We have twelve inches in a foot. How many here inches in a foot? Twelve inches in a foot. What about now? We need now to know how can we measure length. And what's length now? Let's see, see the story. Why are you sad? <laughs> what happened? You see, your Yumi is stretched too long. Uh, you need one that is shorter. You shorter? Need that is the right length. What's length? What's length? Length is a measure of dimension. Dimension? Yes, length is how long or tall something is. Length, how long or tall something is. How can we measure length by using ruler? So we are going to have a ruler now. This is a ruler. I think it's a singing ruler. So how can we measure length by using a ruler to say how short or long something? We measure length by using ruler. This is a ruler. We can measure in inches or centimeters. We have here inches or centimeters, inches or centimeters, inches or centimeters. To know the length of something, to measure how long or short is the object. Now let's have some practice on measuring. So if I ask you here guys, how many centimeters long is the rope? So I'm going to look at my ruler. Okay, and the measurements here is, is with centimeters. So, I put here my rope, the starting point of my rope, on the zero. 
and I stretch this straight like this until the end and see what number is this it's eight so the answer is eight centimeters what about this one Milani has a paintbrush that's shown how many centimeters long is her paintbrush let's see it started with zero and ends with 12 so we got here 12 centimeters excellent what about this one no here we are talking about what we are talking about the shapes remember the shapes let's have a very short video and then we're going to complete the shapes okay let's start 3d shapes sphere cylinder pyramid cube cone they're all 3d shapes there are many places to find a sphere like if a tennis ball happens tennis ball you can shoot a sphere playing basketball and basketball sphere when the moonlight falls planets spheres whether red or blue planets like spheres marbles are spheres that roll around spheres are marbles like spheres up and down spheres are shapes that are perfectly round like balls that tend to roll along the ground they can roll along the ground sphere cylinder pyramid cone Oh, 3D shapes. One kitchen cylinder is a soup can. Soup can. Same from New York to Japan. Pens can be cylinders we use every day. Power poles are cylinders that bring power our way. Toilet paper rolls are cylinders too. If the missing bases are added by you, some jars might be jars as well. When you have your jars, jars like cylinder. Have two circular bases, two circular bases. Pyramids. Those umbrellas look like pyramids before rainfall. Trees can look like pyramids, such in the sky. Pyramid block of cheese. Give it a try. Some house rooftops are pyramids too. And some perfume bottles with scents that are new. Pyramid shaped paper weights on a desk. Looking their best as they stand so picturesque. With the base and apex and faces. Pyramids are found in the most wondrous places. Let's go! Sphere, cylinder, pyramid, cube. He can sing with them. Three shapes. If you roll dice, then you dice are crystal cubes. Blocks are cubes. Much of the time, clocks can be cubes, making hourly chimes. A box in the mail might be a cube shape. Ice cubes can cool your ice cubes, ice cream shape. Containers so a food in the fridge, and some concrete cubes can hold up a bridge. The faces of a cube are all a square, so we can spot them almost anywhere. Cones. Now we have ice cream. Okay, the hat of the witch. Castle turrets are cones to watch outside. A flashlight's cone of light is a great night guy. Cone shaped cups may hold something to eat. Some shoes look like cones when they're on your feet. With a circular base and a pointy circular vertex. base and one vertex. Let's go! Sphere, cylinder, pyramid, cube, cone. Now we have talked about the 3D shapes, the shapes that we can see in real. So what about the 2D shapes? Remember, 
the 2D shapes like. Let's see together. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle, hexagon, rhombus. 2D shapes move and sing along. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle, hexagon. We can circle, we can see circles everywhere. You know the tires. Driving wheel. Okay, squares now. We know the traffic signs in the shape of your squares. What about triangles? Pizza slide. We all love pizza. Yeah. Sailboat sail. Yeah. What about the rectangles? A door. This door in the shape of a rectangle. Yeah, of course. This is the American flag. American flag here in the shape of rectangle. Hexagon. Six sides. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. Rhombuses now. The kite. We all love kite. Yeah, of course we fly it in all year. Diamond. Sparkles. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle, hexagon, and rhombus. We enjoy. Yeah. Okay, guys. Circle shapes that have exactly four sides. Draw an X shapes that have more than four vertices. Let's see. I have here what? I have here four sides. I will make a circle for four sides. So this is not, this is not what, this is not, uh, this is not four sides. One, two, three, just the three sides. One, two, three, four, four sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, six sides. We will put here X and this is the circle. What about this one? One, two, three, four. Four sides means quadrilateral. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, eight octagon. So this is not here. This is not here. Four sides. Remember, four sides, four vertices. The number of sides equal the number of vertices. Now we're going to add, gray, add or subtract. I don't know. Let's see together these problems. Gracie had 61 toys. She gave 17 toys to her sister. How many toy animals does she have now? She gave away. So first of all, she got 61. Then she gave her sister 17. Gave away. How many toy animals does she have now? Now, so 61 minus 17 because she gave her sister some. She's so generous. So 1 minus 7. Can I say 1 minus 7? No, I will borrow. I will take 1 from 6. It's now 11. 11 minus 7 after 7. Then 11. So we got here 2. After 7, 2. Is, it, is this right? Of course not. After 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the right answer. So we have here 4. We have here 4 after 7. 8, 9, 10, 11. So we got here 4. Bravo. What about 6? Six? 6 minus 1 equals 5. No, miss. We have just borrowed 1 from here. 5 minus 1 gives me what? Gives me 4. So my answer is 44. Excellent. I have here another question. Let's see. There are 33 elephants near a stream. Then 19 elephants go into the water. Okay. How many elephants are not 
in the water now. So, 33 minus 19. There were 33 elephants, okay, here near the stream. 33. What happened? 19 got into the water here. We have here 19 elephants into the water. So, how many the rest here? So, I will say... 3 minus 9, it can't be. I will borrow here 13 minus 9. After 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4. We got here 4. 3 minus 1 equal 2. No, we borrowed. So we take here 1 from the 3. This 3 becomes 2. 2 minus 1, mm, 0. No, 2 minus 1. 1. So, we got 14 the answer. Mm, bravo. Okay. On a ranch, there are. Okay, guys. On a ranch, we have there are here. Okay. On a ranch, we have. Uh, there are 46 here. Cows. 23 pigs. And 38 horses. Which problem can be solved with the number sentence? Okay, here, 23 plus 38. 23 was for big pigs and 38 for horses. So, pigs plus horses. So, what's the total number of pigs and horses on the range? So, this is the right here equation or the right sentence, the right number sentence for the equation. Okay, we are having some here. Addition and subtraction. Yes, we have here some addition and subtraction. Let's solve together. Remember, math is, yeah, fun. So, 7 plus, and I have to know this is subtraction or addition. Addition, 7 plus 1, 8. 4 plus 9, after 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What are you doing? This is wrong. After 9, 10, 11, 12, huh? 13, yes, I'm counting 4 here on 9, so we have 13, 3, carry up 1, 1 plus 3, 4, 4, 4 plus 2 then gives me, yes, 6, excellent, what about this one, I have 5 plus 4 after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we have here 9, 6 plus 5, after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, carry up 1, 1 and 1, 2, 2 and 3, 5. Is it easy? I think it is. And about this one, 8 plus 0, any number plus 0 gives me the same number. 3 plus 4, the big number in my mind after 4. 5, 6, and 7. Here, this is 6. And it's red. 678. What about the difference here? Find the difference. I'm going to subtract. 7 minus 7. We start from the 1s. 0 equals 0. 8 minus 4. The big number in my mind counts after 4. 5, 6, 7, and 8. I got 4 on my fingers. 3 minus nothing gives me 3. Comes down like this. 5 minus 2. After 2, 3, 4, 5. We got 3 here. 3 minus 9. Can't be. I'm going to borrow here. 13 minus 9. After 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, we have here 4 on my fingers. We got 4. 4 minus 1, it's not 4. It's now 3. 3 minus 1. After 1, 2 and 3, we have 2 on my fingers. 243. Now we're going to have a very easy one. We have what? multiplication when we multiply you join equal groups use the picture to describe equal groups there are how many cans here one two three four cans how many cans four cans 
each can means one each means one can has how many tennis balls one two three three tennis balls so the total of the tennis balls we will count all of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we got twelve tennis balls here i have how many trays the tray which i put glasses on so all cups okay all food so there are how many trays here three trays each tray how many muffins we have on each tray one two three four five and six so there are six plus six twelve six twelve plus six i will count all of them i will find 18 muffins in all we have here how to use the division when i say i will divide i will give equal shares so i have here how many flowers there are one two three four five six flowers how many flowers six flowers each vase can fit can take how many flowers here each vase one two three one two three so we can use how many vases two vases now okay we have here how many counters how many yellow balls in all one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten yellow balls divided into how many groups let's count the groups one two three four five groups here in the circles so each group has how many counter each group each means one group one and two two counters okay guys let's have here some uh, questions there are and eve remember even and odd and the story of even and odd okay so let's uh let's here solve it i have here guys uh, okay there are an even number of boys and odd number of girls which here sentence even number of boys nine boys even no ten boys even yeah and nine girls odd yeah so this is the right answer amber has an odd number of shoes where is here the odd number 15 here the ones i look at the ones here five is odd why because it's a one two three four five we have extra one so this is what this is an odd okay choose miss Perez has 135 stickers yeah then she gives 10 stickers to students what happened 135 what how many stickers does she have now minus what minus 10 i put the numbers under each other so 5 minus 0 gives me the same 5 3 minus 1 gives me 2 one comes here as it is so the answer 125 mr thomas has 124 tickets he gives here when i say gives so i'm going to subtract gives away take away 10 124 minus 10 the ones under each other the tens under each other make the subtraction here it will be 114 when i say quadrilateral four sides four vertices when i say pentagon five sides five vertices when i say hexa six six sides six vertices hexagon remember heptagon seven octagon eight where is the sphere easy now this the basketball triangular prism the tent here i have the cylinder we have got the cylinder rectangular prism the shoes box the tissues box 
cone this one and this one okay my dear students the last thing we've got we have here what we have here cylinder here it's cube this cube remember and this is also cube the dice here okay and the cone here we got the ice cream cone remember this okay very easy lessons i hope you understood them what about here the inches remember remember the inches very easy so here each color box with one inch so how many here how many inches is the here the orange object three inches how many inches here the green one it's two inches i'm counting the color box okay guys we have here rachel found okay 101 stones becky found 224 stones which number sentence can be used to find total 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 sum total 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 sum means it plus okay guys plus so i'm gonna do what 101 and i have what becky found 224 which number sentence can be here used to find the total number 224 plus 101 plus 101 okay guys this is plus sign okay okay remember the keywords here don't forget the keywords for addition and subtraction total sum remember this here i have add also together what about the subtraction remember and we have a worksheet for that the subtraction okay give away difference remember and i will show you now give away take away difference left remainder okay okay guys i want you to study well from this uh, worksheet and from the videos watch it here again and again i hope you understood everything thank you for listening Bye bye dear students, bye bye. Remember math is fun.